Welcome to another episode of Pop-Up Tech Talks here at VMworld in Barcelona. I'm here with Karen. Um, Karen, would you, would you introduce yourselves quickly? Sure, I'd love to. So I'm Karen Riley from NVIDIA and I look after the professional visualization products across EMEA for NVIDIA. Wow, that's a long title. Would you mind telling me a little bit about what NVIDIA is up to those days? Absolutely, I'd love to. So it's, it's a really exciting time for us. Our GPUs are powering all kinds of technology in the world, from self-driving cars to being the brains within artificial intelligence and helping computers to learn, to being able to deliver VR and allow people to collaborate across the world, and today to be able to talk about delivering graphical apps in a virtual environment here at VMworld. Wow, that's really exciting. I mean, honestly, that's like in every child's dream. Like we we talked about virtual reality. We talked about self-driving cars. You mentioned you mentioned so many other things. Uh, it sounds like the future is already here. Would you mind telling me a little bit about about uh, self-driving cars? I mean, honestly, a lot of people were scared about that, but. You told me you love the idea and you're so sure that it's going to be safe for our children, for us, it's going to be amazing. So please tell me more. <laughs> sure, so obviously it's future technology, but today you have our NVIDIA GPUs inside the car, embedded within the car technology, enabling the car to learn where it's going. So over a period of time, with the technology within the car, the car is learning about, you know, that's a traffic light, that's a car, that's a truck, that's a human being, that's a cat. And it knows what to do and how to respond. So we teach it by driving it on the road and eventually that car will be able to drive itself and navigate itself to wherever it needs to go. Wow, I can't wait. Honestly, it will be so amazing so that I don't have to learn to actually drive. Bring it on faster, please. <laughs> Absolutely. Think about all the time we can uh, we can spend enjoying ourselves looking out of the window rather than having to drive everywhere ourselves. Yes. Uh, well, can't wait. What about what about the artificial intelligence part of part of things? You you mentioned you're working on so many projects. Aren't you scared that you know many people are really really scared about the the time the time when when robots are going to take over our lives. So tell me a little bit about this. Why you believe this will be a safer f a future for us? So I think it comes down to how we use our artificial intelligence. So what we are enabling is computers to be able to learn for themselves and to be able to digest a whole load of different data and deliver that data to a human being to make decisions. So it comes down to how we manage the usage of AI that really matters. Um, but AI will be able to allow us to do things in a fraction of time that you, things that used to take us months, maybe years to do. So I think there will be a lot of benefits there. It comes down to how we use it and how we take that information and make decisions as human beings around what the AI has delivered to us. That makes me feel much better about the future of AI. Thank you. Well, the natural question would be zombie apocalypse or AI invasion. I've got to say zombie apocalypse, that absolutely scares me to death. AI, hopefully we're going to be able to help that to be you know, a good safe environment and people will use it well so we won't have an AI invasion. I'm counting on NVIDIA for this one. I'll take you accounted if something happens, you know. <laughs> but thank you for being here with us, Karen. Thank you for watching. See you next time at another episode of Pop-Up Tech Talks. Yeah. <laughs>